Hey there, I'm Kenya Halliburton and welcome back to another week's content creation challenge. And this week, I challenge you to create a seven part email nurturing series. So hang in there because at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a nice template that you can use to get this done this week. Don't you just love templates? So first things first, what is a follow up sequence? I found this really nice definition from the smart folks at borncreative.com and according to them, a follow-up sequence or autoresponder is a series of pre-written emails that are set up in advance and sent to subscribers or consumers automatically after they opt in, sign up, subscribe, register, purchase, etc. They provide a way to continue to provide value, build relationships, and stay top of mind. So it's time to nurture them, to build that know, like, and trust, and inspire them to invest in your solutions to their problems. The problem is, creating a follow-up sequence can feel like a daunting task. It's one of those content creation tasks that we know we need to do, but we avoid because we feel overwhelmed, so we don't do it at all, or we don't do it well enough to make a difference. But here's the thing. If you don't have a follow-up sequence in place, you're leaving money on the table, and that's not really what we want, right? So today, I wanna to talk to you about creating a seven-part automated follow-up sequence to turn your leads into customers. So why seven? Well, you can do three or five, it's really up to you, but I think the seven comes from the remnants of that old marketing handbook, seven touch formula. So you may have heard it said before that it takes at least seven touches before people take action on your marketing. But honestly, these days, I think that number is a lot higher. But in my experience, seven is a good solid way to establish a relationship and credibility with your new subscriber. So before we jump in, I wanna highlight one of my favorite features of this exercise, which is automation. So typically, when we set out to build our list, we don't take time to set up a solid automated path to move leads to open their hearts and wallets to us. So the consequences of not building a follow-up sequence are that you end up manually having to send your messages to stay in touch. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to send some occasional manual messages, but what a thoughtfully designed automated follow-up sequence does is it puts every new subscriber through a series of messages that provide value while also persuading them to buy. Stats say that a prospect is the hottest just after they sign up for your offer. So this is the perfect time to capture their attention and turn that hot lead into a cool sale. It also provides you with a great way to measure and predict sales. Because if someone signs up and several days after they sign up, they end up purchasing something from you, your email marketing software basically will tell you exactly which messages got the job done. And if nobody is buying anything, you'll be able to gather which messages may need to be tweaked so that they get the job done. So if you can get your follow-up sequence to convert leads into sales, well, you have the most affordable and effective sales team ever. Okay, let's dig in. So right off the bat, I wanna smash one of the barriers that may be keeping you from getting this done by providing you with a sample outline to help you build your campaigns out. So let me walk through this with you. So your first email is your welcome email with a download offer that invites them to say, write you back. Your second email can function as sort of a check-in. How are you making out with this freebie? And you can use a better subject line, but you get the point. Now your third email can be an educational email, an email that educates your subscriber on their problem. Something like five biggest myths about X or six reasons why X isn't working. Now as a side note, your educational emails would be a great place to plug in some of those blog promotion emails you created in last week's challenge. And if you missed it, I'll pop the link in the description section below this video so you can check it out. Okay, your fourth email, you can introduce your paid offer. This is important because you're patterning them and getting them ready to do something about their problem. Now your fifth email is another educational email that's positioned to provide more value and send say another freebie or blog post that is relevant and relates to the paid offer that you introduce them to in your fourth email. For email number six, 
you guessed it, another educational email. And again, you're sending another value added email, another email that educates them about their problem. Again, you wanna position this to be relevant to your offer that you want them to buy. So for example, providing them with 10 biggest things you're missing out on because of some mindset issue or six things they need to know about something that relates to you, the thing you want them to buy. So your seventh email is another introduction to your paid offer. People who join your list and were attracted to your free offer should be your ideal customers. So should, they should be ready and open for this. A good way to incentivize action is to reward them for their commitment by offering a fast action bonus or an exclusive discount that if they take advantage of and they take action within a certain time frame, they can benefit from it. Don't forget to educate them about your paid offers, the benefits of working with you, and also maybe include some words from previous clients and customers. In fact, leading out with some results that a previous client or customer had and how they can probably benefit from it too could be a good strategy to introduce or reintroduce your paid offer. So you can grab this outline or template for free by visiting bit.ly forward slash seven part follow up, all one word. And think about the main thing you want your subscribers to do after they subscribe and use your messages to help them get there. Oh, and one more thing. Be sure to play around with your subject lines. That's your secret weapon to getting your emails open. It really doesn't help much to have great follow-up messages if no one opens them, right? So are you ready to get this done? You can do this. You got this. My shirt says so. <laughs> Remember, you have a whole week to get this done. So maybe schedule 30 minutes to an hour starting today to create and load your messages into your email marketing software. And be sure to leave your questions and comments below. And if you need support, join my Shiro Squad community on Facebook by visiting joinmyactionmind.com. Of course, you know I'd love to meet and support you and learn more about how these challenges are working for you. Plus, you'll be able to stay up to date on the latest content challenge designed to help you market and manage your business better. I'll see you next week.